Hey guys, on previous tutorials we talked about how to import the template, talk about layers and tags, um, how to create the controllers, simple, melee fighter and the shooter controller, um, and we also talk about creating waypoints. And that was just the introduction, the basic features of the AI template. Now we're going to go a little bit further and talk about finite state machines. In here we have the actual brain of the controller. It's where he makes these decisions from like what he was going to do when he sees a target, what he's going to do when his health is low. Anyways, you can create uh, very interesting and unique behaviors with our finite state machine editor. So let's take a look. We already have several examples. Those are all used on the four demo scenes that comes with the AI template today in his current beta version. There is plenty of examples here. So let's take a look on a simple one like the civilian. And uh, you can open the FSM editor window by clicking here or going to Invector AI controller, open FSM behavior window. This is our editor. On this left panel, you can see that we have the FSM components, which is basically the actions and the decisions that we have. Pretty similar to the animator window, where we have the parameters and you can add floats, int, bows, and triggers. But on the FSM, we have actions and decisions. You can see that we ship the package with plenty of actions and decisions so you can make a very cool AI with interesting uh, and unique behaviors. And those actions are just a simple script with encapsulated methods that does a specific action. And of course you can create your own action and add it here to use on your custom states. But believe me, with the included actions and decisions you already can create a very cool AI without writing a single line of code. In this area, you will handle the states and transitions. You can create new node states, and when you select a state, the information about that state will be displayed in the inspector, right here. So let's create a new behavior by going to File, New Behavior. We can see our new behavior here. I'm going to call it tutorial behavior. You can edit a an icon here. So let's add this one for example. Cool. If you lost your behavior by opening a lot of folders, you can always click here and it will show where your behavior is. So you can see that it is empty, but actually it's not empty. We, we do have an entry and an end state that is it is automatically created every time you create a new behavior. They're located here, but in case you, you can't see them, you can simply create a new node and a transition will be created from the entry to your state automatically. The entry state, it's the first state that will run on your behavior. And the end state can make a transition to any state at any moment. You can remove transitions by clicking the state and right clicking to remove. And you can also duplicate the same uh, transition and add different decisions. Now let's take a look into our FSN state that we just created. You in here you can name the state. Here you can add a simple description. Description, this is a idle state. And it will uh, display when you mouse over here. You can also add a different color so you can instantly identify your state. In here we have the option of change the current speed of the controller. So if you enable in this case, it's a, it's a idle state. I want to have the speed of idle. 
and you can also reset the current destination for example if he is patrolling and you're going to enter a flee state you could activate this option so he ignores the, the current state of the patrol and go do the flee behavior cool so let's add some actions to do something here so let's add the patrol action you can see here this little icon uh, it means that it's not being used so it's useful when you have a lot of actions and you don't know if it's being used or not so you can simply remove uh, if it's not being used cool now let's create a new node call it patrol and add the action patrol I want my character to be walking while he's in patrol now every action can have a execution type of on state update on state enter or on state exit you can also do everything and uh, this is useful for some specific actions that you only want to uh, run once in the enter or exit state in this case the patrol we want to keep it updated now let's make a transition between idle to patrol when you create a transition you need to open the state and select this little icon drag and drop to other state now it's in transition to the patrol state and here we can add decisions to go to the patrol state but in this case I just want to wait five seconds and then directly go to patrol now let's see if this works let's hide this too and add my tutorial behavior in here of course for him to patrol we need a waypoint area assigned on the controller inspector let's go to our AI controller here and open the base controller waypoint and in, in the previous tutorial I did create a waypoint area so I just assign here and let's see what happens he's waiting for the five seconds condition that we we added and now he's going to patrol cool now let's have some fun and add a, another action we want an action to flee add it here let's create a new node call it flee and in the flee state I want the character to sprint because he's scared I want him to actually uh, run like crazy and also we want to reset the current destination let's add the action flee here and take a look it's the on state update here is the flee distance that he will uh, run I want to enter the flee state at any moment if I take any damage so let's add a transition from the end state to the flee and now we need a decision we don't have any decisions yet as you can see here so let's add a decision here we have you can see target, check health, check state and what we want is check damage in this case check I want to, to check for any damage so check any damage and you can filter several uh, types of damage here we can talk more about this later but in this case I want to any uh, damage and add this decision we just created on the decisions of the end state cool if I take any damage and it is true I will transi transition to flee and I also need a condition to exit the flee state so let's create a new transition here and go to idle after we flee for I don't know 10 seconds 10 seconds fleeing after 10 seconds here we go to patrol 
cool way to debug this is to go into Invector AI Controller FSM Debug Window. Now in here we can select a AI and check the debug mode here. So let's see. Let let me hit pause here. So let's talk a little about the FSM debugger. Here is the end state that we have here. Uh, you can see that if true, if true meaning the check and the damage, if it's true, it will go to flee. In this case, it's no. It's not helping any damage, so no. This is the last state. In this case, was the entry, and this is the current state. It is idle. And in here, the debug message window, you can see that idle delay it's happening. It's counting from five to zero, and and it will enter in the patrol. So let's take a look here. Select the AI. On pause. Two, one, zero. Uh, now we the last state is idle and the current state is patrol great now let's take a look if I do any damage to him he will go to the flee state so let's go and punch him he did go to the flee state and now he's running he will run and he will flee for uh, 10 seconds and go back to idle just like we did with our FSM behavior. Now, everything I just said can be found in our online documentation. You can access here in the help documentation or in Vector AI Controller help online documentation. Since it's a online documentation, we're adding more and more information every day. So you can use the search tool and search for FSM how it works. Here is the everything I just said in the video. We have GIFs showing how to use it and it, it is a pretty s simple and straightforward documentation. I'm sure you will find it uh, useful and easy to understand. So that was the introduction to our FSM editor. I hope you like it. I think you're going to learn how to use it pretty fast. It's not a complicated tool. We spend a huge amount of time trying to make it simple to use uh, for new users, but also powerful enough for advanced users that want to heavily customize the AI. Back when we started developing this tool, uh, we also spent a lot of, lot of time searching and trying different ways to create a customizable AI that was easy to use it. Uh, we tried the traditional behavior trees, we tried the gulp oriented action planning uh, it, that uh, this was used in the game fear uh, back in the day and the method we liked the most was by storing data with scriptable objects and manipulating those objects with a FSM node editor uh, that are, is inspired by the animator which Unity developers are already familiar with so I think the learning curve will be pretty fast, uh, just like our other assets. Well, that's it for this tutorial, guys. I'm going to create more advanced examples in the next tutorials, so stay tuned.